You're watching a magnified video of the California killifish, Fungulus parvipinus, feeding in a laboratory flume on one of their common prey items, spionid polychaete worms. Spionid polychaetes, like this species, Polydora cornuta, are microscopic worms that live on the seafloor. They are especially abundant in coastal and estuarine sediments. There can be over 1,000 living in a square foot of mud. Spionids build a mud tube and live inside of it for protection. They feed by extending their two tentacles or feeding palps out of the tube to either capture food particles suspended in the near bottom currents or deposited on the bottom. When they suspension feed, they often coil their palps to help capture food particles flying by in the current. In this laboratory flume, the current is flowing from left to right at a speed of 6 centimeters per second. If you look closely at the mud, you'll see several pairs of feeding palps coiled above the sediment surface. The fish also see these feeding palps. The fish also can locate their prey when the worms defecate. To give you an idea of the magnification in this video, the killifish are about an inch and a half long, and the worm palps that they're feeding on are about a quarter of an inch in length. You can see that sometimes the fish take a very precise and shallow bite trying to eat the feeding palps, and at other times they take a much deeper bite trying to eat the whole worm. The videos of killifish preying on spionid worms are part of a research collaboration between Brian Henschel and Todd Anderson at San Diego State University. We and our students are interested in how differences in the speeds of tidal currents in salt marshes affect predator-prey interactions and food webs in these important estuarine habitats.